Hello, I'm Stephen Bryant. Welcome to my Ecstatic Waters how-to videos. Now in this one, we'll cover just the very basics of the hardware setup, the laptop and the audio interface. Um, this will be specific to mine, the Motu Ultralight, but it should be easily adaptable to whatever interface you happen to have. Now the first thing you need to do is get the software driver for your interface. Most of them have one you can download from the manufacturer's website. Uh, it's usually in the instructions that comes with the interface. It's very simple, it's free. Um, so you should probably do that first before you plug the interface into the computer um, or do anything further. Once you've done that, you should probably restart your computer. And in fact, for some interfaces, you need to start with the computer off. So you could go ahead and just shut it down at this point. Um, next, you will plug in the power for both of them. This seems obvious, but I just want to make sure it's all clear. Uh, and I do recommend, even though some interfaces say they don't have to have power, that they'll get the power from the computer, I strongly recommend you use the power supply, and if you don't have one, get one. Uh, it's just much more reliable that way. Once you've done that, turn on the interface, plug in your cable. Now, for this interface, and for most of them, use FireWire, which is a, pretty much a standard. This is FireWire 400. Uh, there's a newer one called FireWire 800, which a lot of the recent MacBook Pros um, have only that sort of connection. A cable that goes from 400 to 800 is perfectly fine and will work just great. You just need to check and see what your interface has and what your laptop has and which cable you need. So plug that in. If you haven't yet, turn the interface on and then start up your computer. The most important ones are the main left and right out. Now on this one it's labeled uh, as such, main outs, left and right. Uh, on many interfaces it's the same. Uh, if it's slightly different it might just be output one and two. Now these will be the main uh, where all the sounds come out and go directly into the system. So you'll need a left and right cable. Uh, on mine it's a quarter inch they're quarter inch balance cables and you can tell that to your sound person into the sound system or the sound board. Next you need the output 3. On mine I actually use output 1 because there's an output 1 that is separate from the main left and right. This will be the subwoofer channel that goes feeds directly into the subwoofer speakers and only low frequency content comes out of this one. Output 2 is where the click track for the conductor comes out and that will go directly into whatever you're using. Usually it's a wireless system um, sitting right there next to the laptop that broadcasts the signal to the in-ear monitor for the conductor. Alternatively you can run a wire all the way down to the conductor. A number of performances have done that. Uh, it doesn't matter to me but whatever you do it has to come out of this one. Output 2 on the Motu Ultralight uh, on yours, it might be output number four, so try either one. Likewise, for the subwoofer channel, either try output one or output three. It really depends on the interface. Lastly, you need to plug in the clarinet microphone. Now, on this interface, there's a plug on the front, and this can take the microphone cable directly and act as a preamp. The only thing you must make sure you have if you're going to do this is an interface that has a built-in mic preamp. Uh, many of them do. The other way to do it is to run the mic directly into the soundboard uh, and then take a feed from that directly into the input one on your interface. Now on the Multi Ultralight it's the same plug, just a different cable. It would be a quarter inch cable that goes in there instead of the, the big three pin XLR. You can work that out with your sound person depending on how they want to run the microphone. Just remember that if the clarinet mic goes directly into the soundboard, it should only go from there into the computer. We don't want to hear the clean uh, amplified clarinet sound in the main speakers. The, the goal of this is to only add effects to the clarinet, not to make it louder. At this point, um, you've basically plugged in everything that you need to do. Uh, one more thing, this setup here is typical for performance. Um, I strongly encourage you to have someone with the score following it next to the person that's operating the laptop. 
Uh, the reason for this will become clear in the videos when I talk about rehearsal and performance. Um, and don't forget you'll need some stand lights and a power strip or two. Also, I always run with a backup computer, so essentially taking all of this and duplicating it again, a second interface and a second laptop, and have all of them run the same set of cables into the mixing board uh, so that if something were to happen in performance, you could simply jump to the other laptop. You wouldn't have to st stop the performance, reboot the computer, because we all know how long that takes. You can, for the next queue, jump over, start operating that laptop, and you miss almost nothing in the performance, so it would be very seamless. It's not required, but I strongly, strongly suggest you go to the extra trouble. Alright, that's basically the physical setup required. Um, you'll just need to coordinate with the sound person for your concert hall, but give them this basic information, the kind of plugs you have on the back of your interface, and they can usually take it from there.